Imagine if you could get a vacuum as good as a Dyson, but for less money. Well, a lot of people are saying that the Tinoco is essentially a budget Dyson. Now, generally, you get what you pay for. So we're pitting the Tinoco Pure One S11 against the Dyson V11 Animal. And spoiler alert, we were very surprised at the results. On average, the Tinoco is about 40% cheaper than the Dyson. And sometimes, like right now, it is about half the price. But I do have something to tell you about that. You should know that the head on the Tinoco is actually very flawed. And I can say that because we are not sponsored. In fact, we purchase all of the vacuums that we test. And that helps keep us objective. So when you purchase from the links down below, that actually really helps us. The Tinoco S11 is their mid-range vacuum, and it's very lightweight at just six pounds, unlike my fat cats. <laughs> it's got a 2,500 milliamp battery that easily pops out, and it will run up to 40 minutes on a charge. It's got a couple things that make it unique. First, it has a dust sensor. Now, the marketing people call it iLoop. Don't ask me why, but it's actually useful. As you vacuum, it detects dirt on the surface and adjusts the suction. You can see when it's dirty, the display moves from blue to red, and then it goes back down to blue when it's clean. We tested airflow at the wand, and on the low setting, it actually beat the Dyson at 21.3 meters per second. Now, on high, it was close, so that makes the Dyson still the overall winner. Then we tested airflow at the head. Here, the Dyson was superior. It scored about 44% better than the Tinoco on low, and more than double that on high. I think it's because the Dyson has a flexible gasket that forms a seal along a hard surface floor like tile or hardwood, and that creates a lot of suction. Speaking of which, how'd it do on suction, other Eric? Well, it's split down the middle. At the wand, we measured the Tinoco at 10 kPa versus 18 for the Dyson. But on high, it matched the Dyson at 23 kPa, which is actually the highest we've ever tested for a cordless vac. But while the Tinoco has scored super well so far, there are some dark clouds on the horizon. Or in this case, on the floor. But we'll get to that in a moment. Now, let's discuss pickup. We dumped 50 grams of sand on our medium pile carpet, and then we ground it in. Both vacuums picked up 100%, which is the top of the class. They also picked up 100% on hardwood, but here's where the Tinoco falls behind the Dyson. While the head is very effective at sand, and it's pretty good at pet hair, as we'll see in a moment, it's actually terrible with larger bits of dirt. Not so good. All right, Dyson, time to shine. So if you have mostly hardwood or tile, the Tinoco is basically kind of a failure. You're such a disappointment. But just as the Tinoco is slipping behind, there is a huge surprise in our Mega Mouse Test. You see, the Dyson had a huge problem. It couldn't handle the Mega Mass. Whoa, the V11, it got clogged. I think we got a little bit of dirt inside the wand and inside the vacuum itself too. And the Tinoco, it just ate it up. Tinoco's looking, looking kind of clogged too. Fortunately, it's pretty easy to clean the brush roll on each of these. With the Tinoco, you just pop it out like this and get all the hair off. And in fact, it's got a cool little tool to help you clean the hair off. And with the Dyson, just comes out like that. But man, there's some, there's some serious clogging in there. But the Mega Mess test is kind of silly. How do these vacuums perform in the real world? <laughs> The Dyson performed extremely well in our anti-tangle test on both 6-inch and 14-inch rave hair because of its anti-tangle brush roll. Now, the Tinoco, it didn't fare nearly as well. Looking at the head, the Dyson actually has a superior design that is more well thought out, and it works better in multiple environments than the Tinoco. It is much better for maneuverability, especially on stairs. The Dyson has these extra rollers which actually help turn the head around, and you can see this whole thing has a mechanism over here which is designed to turn the head as you turn your arm. The Tinoco head design is just kind of freeform. When you turn the wand, it doesn't really turn the head that much. I've got to turn my arm all the way like this just to get the head to rotate a few degrees. But the battle isn't done yet. I let hair collect on the kitty condos for a couple of weeks, and then, for good measure, I smushed in some dog hair. The Dyson again performed better, and it was faster too. However, the Tinoco put in a good showing, and they're both really easy to clean the little mini brush roll. 
And of course, let's not forget our HEPA smoke test. Both units have sealed canister filtration. The Tinico has a four-stage system and it showed no leakage at all, which means the allergens and dirt stay inside the canister. The Dyson also showed no leakage. Excellent. In our sound test, we found that both vacuums are actually very quiet. But the Tinico was one of the quietest vacuums we've ever tested. It's not annoying, even on high setting. Score one for the Tinico. In terms of the battery, the Dyson can run for up to 60 minutes on low, and the Tinico can get 40 minutes if you leave it in auto. And they both have replaceable batteries. And finally, the Dyson does have a bigger ecosystem of third-party accessories, but the Tinico has quite a bit now too. They both have a display on the device, but the Tinico has fairly basic information and it doesn't even tell me its battery life. The main function seems to be telling me how dirty or clean my carpet is. It also comes with an app, but it has fairly limited use in my opinion. The Tinico S11 is an excellent vacuum if you have mostly carpet. If you've got a lot of hardwood or tile, it's not going to be that good because the regular head just is terrible at picking up dirt unless it's really small on hard surfaces. For a similar price to the S11, you could look at the A11, which does have the anti-tangle brush roll. You do get the mini powered tool, but it does have a less powerful motor and it doesn't have the eye loop technology. Or at the higher end, you could look at the Pure One S15 pet, which is a lot more money, but it does have a lot more features, bringing it closer to the Dyson. Thanks for watching.